I'd like to show you how to create another sliding menu or a sliding menu in uh, your mobile site in Adobe Muse. I've got this uh, iOS simulator open here and if you take a look, I'll show you the menu itself first and then we'll create it. It's, it's actually pretty simple. If I tap on the menu icon right here, you'll see it show up. Now this menu can go all the way across if you want to. I just happen to stop it here just as a way to kind of slide it in and, and take a look at it. Now this is an actual working menu, so if you tap on any one of these, it will take you to the page. I can also click somewhere else and close it or hide it. So how do we do that? Well, it's like I said, it's pretty simple actually. If I come over to Adobe Muse and I come to my start, I've got my phone layout and it's, this is a really lame example, okay? But I've got my home page open and we're gonna put this out here. Now I'm not putting what, I'm not putting this menu on the master page right now simply because it would go underneath everything. Um, and I know there are ways to be able to arrange content, menu items above other content, etc. Uh, but right now I'm putting it on just a page. In Muse CC, which is coming out soon, there are layers we can use, which is pretty cool. They've already announced it. They announced it at Adobe Max, which is awesome. And you can be probably use that once you get the update, but it's not out yet. How do we do it? Well, we will insert a widget, which is gonna allow us to do the, the sliding and the showing and hiding. And then we're gonna insert a menu that is created by Muse, which you can also create your own. If you look in the widgets library panel, say that 10 times really fast, you'll see the compositions, click on compositions to see them, and you will see a blank composition. We can start with this. Click and drag it out, drop it on the page, and you're gonna see the options show up over here. We are going to affect these options. We don't we don't have to do too much right now. So what we're going to first of all do is arrange this thing quickly. Then we'll get into the options. Come down here. Now if you haven't worked with these before, they're actually pretty easy, these different types of composition widgets. It's sort of like a group of things. If you click somewhere to deselect and then click back on it, you'll see that it's telling you what you have selected up here in the corner. We've got a composition. Now it's, it's sort of like a group of things. You have the, um, the target and the trigger. The target is the big area here, and the trigger is down here. As you click on each one of these, it will actually show you what's in the larger area called the target. What we want is we wanna have two triggers and then two larger areas. So come to the third one here, I just happen to be clicked on it, and click on it and hit delete. What that does is, this is actually stupid simple. It, it actually deletes the trigger itself, the little square, and it deletes the larger target area, the stuff that's gonna show up. Now, next thing we gotta do is we gotta kinda rearrange everything. Click once more on the target area to select it, and it should say target up here in the upper left corner. There we go. Drag it up, and we're gonna snap it, or just stick it on your page. You're gonna have your own page, your own design, etc. Put it up higher. This is gonna be the area where the menu appears in. Grab the corner of it, or the side, and drag it up. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's about the width of the phone layout. Now, I've created a phone layout. Let me back up just one second here. You're going to see that my page is really narrow, right? Well, if I go back over to plan mode and look, you're going to see that I've created my phone. Now, I just briefly showed you that a few minutes ago. But we created the phone layout. We've got the sizes out here, and we're putting it out there. Okay. Back on my home page, I've got my, my target area set. We can adjust it later, a little bit more. Come down here to the triggers, click on the first trigger. This is gonna be the one that shows up first, which is gonna be blank essentially. Drag that first trigger up and drop it, and usually we're gonna put this up in the header and kinda of do something like this. You can resize it. Make it a little bit bigger, just like that. Now your design, do what you need to do. Come down here to this trigger, click on that one. Now sometimes you may find that you have to click a couple times to get it, but Make sure it says trigger up there in the control panel, upper left. Drag it up, drop it up here, and you're gonna feel these smart guides kind of snapping in. You should be able to snap it in there. There we go, red guides show up, got it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the content. We wanna have a menu in here. So what's gonna happen is initially the initial, the first trigger is gonna show. So click on the first trigger. This is what's gonna show when the page loads. Then when somebody taps over here in the trigger area, this is what's gonna show. In this target area, or this one right here, we're gonna drag a menu. 
I mean, you can just type in a bunch of text. You can do whatever you want. It's your call. But I'll come over here to the widgets library and come to the menus. And we're going to grab a vertical menu. So drag that out. Just do this. Drop it directly in the target area. You're going to see it outlined in blue. See the outline? Drop it in there somewhere. It should show up in all the options. And then we're just going to position it and make it look cool. So stick it, let's say, up over here. You can you know, make it a little taller if you want to or not. It's your call. You can then go in. If you have worked with menus before in Muse, you can go in and adjust the colors and do different things. But now we're going to just see what it looks like. So we're going to test it out real quick. You can do this a bunch of different ways. If you go to preview mode, you can also go out to the browser. There's a couple ways you can do this. It will go out and let you preview this. And you'll see that we have the initial trigger and target showing up. If you click on the next one, it'll show up. And you can see what's happening here. By default, it's fading in and out of the different target areas. So we're going to change that. Go back to design mode. Now we need to get to the actual uh, trigger and target, the actual composition widget here. A couple tips here. If you have something selected like a menu here, if you press the escape key, Every time you press the escape key, it kind of works its way out, or out a level, if you will. Keep going out until you've got the entire composition selected, pressing the escape key. You can also click off and then reselect it. Click the option arrow right here. And what we need to do here is we need to say, okay, when it's clicked, we don't want the transition to fade. We want it to go horizontally. You can try vertically, but it's not going to work very well in this case. Try horizontal. Make sure that enable swipe is selected. That's for devices to be able to, you know, touch enable devices. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now we can try it out. Go to preview, check it out, and then click. And you'll see the slide in. There's the effect we want. Now what we need to do is we need to get rid of all the colors and make it look the way we want it. So go back to design mode, click on the entire composition. Click once more on the trigger here. Each trigger has a bunch of states. It's got the active state, the normal state, etc. And we need to change the appearance of all those states if we want to. Now, I don't want to see the color in here, so I'm going to get rid of it. So if you come up top, you're going to see trigger. Click on active. Start at normal. This is what I usually do. Click on normal. Now we're going to set the appearance of the normal state. Come to fill and click on the word fill here. And we can change the color to none. We can set the opacity to, to none. You can do a lot of different things here. So I can see opa whoops, opacity none. I'm going to set it to none as well. Just whatever. You can do that. We did it for one state. Now if you click on normal over here and trigger, you got to click a couple times to get rid of the uh, menu. Click on rollover. You can click on the trash can to make it the same. Now I am missing something here. And some of you are probably noticing this. There's still a stroke. I missed that. Click back on normal, stroke of one, let's get rid of that. So put it back to zero, put it to zero rather. There we go. Come back to normal. Okay, click on rollover. If you see a trash can, click on it. Mouse down, trash can, click on it. Active, trash can, click on it. There we go. That makes them all the same, all the states the same. Cool, now we can test it out. So go to preview. I'll let you just kind of test it your own will. There we go, it's completely blank. Tap, bam. Now let's change the initial target area. Click on design. Back over here, we have the trigger selected. Go ahead and click on the target now. Now you gotta be careful with this because it depends on which trigger is selected in design mode. It's the target you're gonna change. So click on the target here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Come over to active, click on normal, change the fill to none. And set the opacity. You can set the opacity to zero. There's a couple ways you can do this. I just get paranoid. Stroke to zero and go through the same thing. Normal. Click on rollover. If you see a trash can, click. Mouse down, trash can, click. Active, trash can, click. Beautiful. There we go. Go to preview it. You can also preview in the browser and there's our initial state. Bam. Cool. We're getting there. Go back to design. You could probably figure the rest of this out to be honest, but Click on the trigger, the second one. Come to the target. I don't want to see this target area. I don't. So I just want to see the menu. So click on target. Exact same thing. Go to normal. Set fill. 
bam, we'll set it to zero, opacity zero. You can do whatever you want here. Set to none, go to normal, make sure rollover is the same, mouse down, active, the same, beautiful. Now I can preview it. I'm going a little faster here, hopefully that makes sense. Now you'll notice that there was a stroke there I gotta get rid of, I always miss that. Go to design. So I'm gonna go normal here, there's a stroke, sneaky little stroke on normal. Rollover, mouse down, active, all good. This, this is gone, so we're good. Now the last thing we can do here is, I, obviously I already said you can change the appearance of the menu. If you click one more time on that, you will select the menu and then you can start changing the colors and doing different things. Don't forget, we could also take this menu and make it the width if we want to and have it slide all the way out, but it's your call. I'll keep it like this. Now the trigger area we're gonna change. So click on the trigger and we're gonna go in and make the color basically nothing, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add content to this. Come on, you can add a picture, you can add background image, you can add anything you want, but come to the rectangle tool and I'm gonna zoom in up here so you can see this just using a zoom tool. Click and drag to create a little bar, something like this. It's gonna to be too big, that's fine. Change the stroke to none and make the color fill white, if you wouldn't mind. Come to the selection tool and we're just gonna copy this thing and make like four of them. This is usually what we see in a, uh, a little menu icon. So hold on the Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, drag it down just a little bit, let go of the mouse, let go of the key. You can also copy, paste, and position it once more. Start dragging, Alter Option. You're going to feel the, or see rather, Smart Guides kick in. Start dragging, Alter Option. Bam, you'll see Smart Guides kick in. Now you can use the Align panel to kind of distribute them evenly. That's cool. All right. Now we're gonna go back out to the actual trigger here. So I want you to, you've got one of these selected, go ahead and press the escape key. That gets back out to the trigger. Now we're gonna change the appearance of the trigger itself. So come to normal, make sure normal selected, no stroke, no fill. And I'm just, like I said, I'm doubling up. I'm, I don't need to do this. Doubling up will pat, really hate that. I'm color none, there we go. Go to normal. Roll over, trash can, mouse down, nothing, active, trash can, good to go. There we go. Now you can change the color of the rectangle. You can do a lot of different things here, but I'll go to preview and take a look at it. There's my menu, tap, and we've got it. Like I said, you can change a lot of this. You can go a lot further with this, but this is just one way to be able to create a cool little sliding menu in Adobe Muse.